I'm a nutritional ecologist, and what nutritional ecologists do is they study the ways that animal relate, animals relate to their environment through nutrients. Now, the idea behind this study is to try to understand better what it is that drives the interactions of snapper uh, with their environment. And the important thing about snapper in this respect is, firstly, they are very important in New Zealand, both as a commercial fish, um, as a recreational fish, and they're also very important ecologically. Now, the idea behind the study is to try to understand um, in greater detail uh, how it is that nutrition in their environment influences the uh, health of individual snapper, reproduction of snapper, and uh, therefore the population levels, the sustainability of snapper. The idea behind this study is to ask the question for the first time whether we can find evidence in the wild for a predator, in this case a predatory fish, the snapper, um, selecting its foods um, in such a way as to balance its nutrient intake. We know that in marine reserves, snapper do much better than outside of marine reserves, but there's very little information on exactly why that is. I mean, one obvious cause is that they're being harvested less. There's, there's no recreational or commercial fishing taking place in marine reserves. But the next question then follows, is it only because there's a lower mortality due to that, or are they also doing better in marine reserves because maybe the food availability is better, either in terms of the amount of food or possibly even in terms of the quality of food. That's not known. And there's a good argument that maybe the opposite is true. 